guys, it's Halloween season and Patrick's gonna tell us all about his favorite costume right now. Yeah, Jurgen Club or somebody did a fake Jurgen Club, like a pumpkin Jurgen Club. And it's very realistic, but it has some minor details that I'm like, you know, they're getting on my nerve. He has like a lineup on his clipboard and it says like Henderson at the, as a left mid and Ronaldo as a right mid. That's not realistic at all. I mean, you must be a very big crazy fan to have that right outside your house, right? Yep, and I love it. PES 2021 came out a couple of weeks ago and someone tweeted these pictures from the very own game. They were playing their own Clásico Real Madrid versus Barcelona. But what was hilarious was what was in the background with the fans are standing. And there is a poster there that says Barto Dimisio, which means Barto out. I don't know if they did this on purpose. What do you think, Patrick? <laughs> Maybe it's a little bit of a campaign from PES to get Bartomeu out. The reality is Bartomeu was the guy that got this partnership with Pez, so that's pretty crazy if they actually did put them themselves. And speaking about Bartomeu, he's officially out at Barcelona. Obviously, social media went crazy. The people are loving it and the memes are all over the place. Yes, him and both Messi were trending on Twitter and everybody's going nuts about this. I wonder what's going to happen with Barcelona next. Marcus Rashford's campaign to feed hungry kids in England was rejected by the government. Uh, nobody will ever understand that decision, but his Twitter and social media feeds became kind of like an, an ad for restaurants that were willing to give food to hungry children for free. And not only that, all the fans around the world started signing the petition and there's more than a million signatures now for the government to accept this from Marcus Rashford. I love when celebrities or athletes take things to their own hands and make it happen. I'm very happy that he did this and hopefully the government changes their mind. Nathaniel Wood was getting ready to fight in UFC 254 and it looks like he's getting slapped three times in the face right before going in the ring. But looks like it was not good luck because he lost the fight against Casey <laughs> Kenny. And I'm sure he lost because those laps were hard. I mean, he's already about to get hit a million times in the head all over the body. And before, why not get hit three times? I don't get the decision, but hey, it didn't work. And let's continue with the good stuff in this island link. Like Marcus Rashford, Head and Veen is now doing something great for children with cancer. They had 15,000 teddy bears in the stands. Nice gesture. Very nice gesture. And the pictures are so cute seeing each and every teddy bear in each seat. And I think every club should do this. I loved it. Ecuadorian club de la Liga Porto Viejo, who currently have newest forward Francisco Friedrizewski, I'm sorry if I cannot pronounce your last name, on loan are staging a raffle to help raise the funds to bring back the newest player permanently. Well, apparently he has 16 games, eight goals, and they need to raise about a million dollars. It's too much, I think, for that type of player. I, will, I don't think I'll ever do that for my team, but I mean, if the fans like him, why not? We start fits, kits, and kicks with Adidas and their human race football jerseys. They released uh, for a lot of their teams, but there's only one good one, sorry. I gotta pick my favorite right away, the Bayern Munich one. The rest, you can get. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pick the Manchester United one because it's based on the blue and white snowflake pattern that was worn in 1990 through 1992. That's my favorite one. Estudiantes has released their third kit and it looks just like the Libertadores logo, Patrick. And I think it's so ugly, first of all, and maybe they're just using it as inspiration so they can make it into the Copa Libertadores. Yeah, this is to remember there are three in a row Libertadores titles back in the 60s, 70s, you know, a long time ago. And the idea was good. I, I just think the execution wasn't really great. Just a reminder for you guys to make your predictions at beinthematch.com. You can win a $100 gift card to World Soccer Shop. And Andrea, who creates this and puts the magic into sideline bling, is putting our name up there. She's in third place. I'm not going to mention where I am, but you are in almost last place. Yes, I'm in 15th place, but I'll make it up this week. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching Sideline Bling.